Hey guys, Joster here. So this time I have a new projector from Epson. Now this is the 3800 series Epson Home Cinema that retails for around $1700. It uses pixel shifting technology to achieve 4K resolutions and it looks fantastic. It also supports HDR, HLG. It is rated at 3000 lumens of brightness. It also supports 3D. I'm a big fan of 3D on projectors, you guys know that. And it has two 10 watt speakers. So this projector has so many features, I'm going to try to cover as much as I can in this video. So welcome to the channel, I'm Jolster, and let's do this. So I spend a lot of hours working from home, editing videos, and also gaming a lot. And one of my favorite tools is my desk. Now sitting for long periods of time can get you tired as well, so it is recommended to stand up at least every hour or so. And with a press of a button, you can stand up, stretch your legs, release some of that tension on your lower back, and continue working at the same time. Now, I've been using FlexiSpot motorized desk for around two years now. It's easily one of the best investments you can do for any office or if you work from home. Hell tip, get up, be active, and continue working. I'm Jolster, and stay safe, guys. All right, so inside the box is, of course, the projector, the remote, the power cable, and a quick setup instructions. Now one thing I noticed is that the remote is huge. It has so many buttons. It could be overwhelming for someone, but you'll get used to it. Now in the front you'll find the projector lens with focus and zoom adjustment knobs, a ventilation, and also a sensor. Now on top we have the power button, menu access, and also lens shift knobs to help adjust the image, either horizontal or vertical. Now in the back there are two 10 watt speakers, two HDMI 2.0 ports, trigger out RS-232C, service port, two USB type A, an audio port and also another sensor. At the bottom there are ceiling mounting brackets and adjustable legs. All right, so let's jump into picture quality because I know this is what you guys are here for, right? All right, so let me tell you right out of the box, this looks fantastic. Epson 4K Pro UHD pixel shifting technology is one of the best in the market. It delivers beautiful details, and that's because they also implement Epson's 12-element high-quality glass lenses for better color and image processing. So far, I have tested 4K HDR videos from YouTube, and also some 4K shows from Netflix and Amazon Prime, and they look beautiful. Now in this case, I'm using Elite Screen's Cinegray 5D Tap Tension ALR screen, which helps rejecting ambient light, and it enhances colors and contrast and black levels. All right guys, so there are so many options in this projector, so let me show you in more detail. All right guys, so let me show you more in-depth options that this projector has to offer. But before I continue, I wanted to show you, I'm producing about an 85 inch image from just about eight and a half feet away from the, uh, from the projector screen. Now this is a 106 inch screen. I wish I can cover the whole screen, but I can't uh, because this is not a short throw or ultra short throw projector. So you will need a lot more space there is more information about the uh, the space that you might need for a bigger screens. In my case, I, ca I can't. This is the, as much as I can go. So let me show you. Let's go into the menus. So first of all, let's go into the main menu. So here you have access to, of course, color, dynamic color, bright cinema. I'm going to show you how it looks, right? And then this is natural. I honestly feel like dynamic looks better. This picture right here looks a little bit dim. And then here we have the cinema. Cinema also looks nice, but it's a bit, a bit dim. Personally, I like the dynamic because it just looks brighter. And it also looks kind of warm. So that is just my choice. And of course, you can always customize all this. We have brightness, contrast, color saturation, tint, sharpness, white balance, image enhancement. Let's take a look at this one. And over here... If we're when we're playing 4K, of course we'll, we're going to have the 4K enhancement here as well. Advanced, we have like I said, so many settings. Also access to gamma over here. Let's change to gamma zero. 
which I don't like. I actually customized it and changed it to minus two. I feel it looks much, much better. The colors look more saturated. But hey, this is my own personal settings. You can always customize this to your own preference. All right. So uh, we have even more uh, options here. Signal. Uh, you have access to 3D here as well. You can also change the aspect ratio. This is normal, but if you want, you can also use anamorphic white. Let me see how this one looks. Okay, so this does not look that good. <laughs> I guess, uh, you know what? I just used the normal. That is what I want. You can also use horizontal squeeze. Uh, you have all those options. Let's go back over here color space and automatic you can use bt709 or bt2020 of course bt2020 is when you have um, hdr but when i use auto it's going to switch depending on what you are watching right now so dynamic range we have automatic you have hdr 10 signal or hlg whenever is available over here so like i said guys this is just some of the settings that i have access to you have so many you also have bluetooth just in case if you want to connect your bluetooth uh speakers uh keystone adjustment over here let's go into keystone adjustment quick corner yes and then over here you can obviously adjust the corners if for some reason they're not correctly adjusted but everything is good right now, so I'm not going to make any uh, adjustments. I just wanted to show you how all the settings you have. Home screen, display projector front, you can change that just in case if you want to see mountain, uh, ceiling mountain the projector. Network, you also have access to wireless network, which to me, honestly, I don't know why would that make any sense. The only thing I can think of is when you need to make an update on the projector because it doesn't have an operating system. I'm using my, my Fire Stick, of course. I'm just going to leave it like that. And that's it. Over here we have the reset. So this is how it works. And of course, we also have HDR, direct access to HDR settings. Uh, if you don't want to go through the whole menu, color mode, this is dynamic. So I already showed you all this, but you on the remote controller, you have direct access buttons. All right, guys. So now I'm going to test gaming with this projector because as you guys know, I'm a gamer. So I, while I, I want to see how this works, how it feels, even though I was reading that this projector can do... 20 milliseconds of input lag while gaming on 4k so that's pretty that's pretty awesome for a 4k projector but before i do that let me show you you guys notice how the screen is not aligned in this case i'm using my alr screen by xy screens but you notice how the screen on the left is sticking out the image is actually not aligned with the screen right and also at the bottom so this is when this uh shift lens shift uh, adjustments come very handy so let me show you real quick how this is going to I'm going to adjust first the vertical and there you go it's almost perfectly aligned now let's do the horizontal and there you go now it's sticking out on the right hand side you guys notice that well that's where zoom comes in we can adjust the zoom like right about there then let's adjust the horizontal again and that seems about right now the vertical i want it to be centered right and now let's zoom it in again it's almost there we're going to lower it just a little tiny bit now notice how on top it's not also aligned and that is because we need to adjust the keystone so it's almost there i almost have it right so let's go into the keystone adjustment as well so let's press keystone there you go first let's check out this corner because i feel like this is the one that it needs more adjustment so oh okay it's too much there you go it's almost there press enter let's adjust the other one that's 
that seems to be right all right guys so let's jump into gaming let's see how this works let's go into the xbox settings real quick now, i'm pretty sure this is running at 4k there you go 4k uhd let's get it let's check out the details i got all the green check marks this supports 4k and also 3d and hdr all right so let me check gears of war 5 or gears 5 and let's see how it plays let's do this all right guys so i'm here with gears of war and let me show you there are there's an option that you can process image fine so in this case it's fine and also fast so i'm gonna try it with fine first and let's see how this feels all right so let's see oh my god Everybody, ah, oh jesus where is he oh my god oh my god i eliminated two of them but <laughs> it caught us by surprise all right so it feels responsive i'm not gonna lie it feels good even though i'm uh i'm playing on this big screen projector is usually not the best idea but it feels good let's see let's see come on guys Oh my god, really? Wow, this looks beautiful and I'm playing with HDR right now. Oh, oh, ah, oh yes, oh my god, you're gonna kill us. Oh my goodness. I guess I was the last one. <laughs> Jesus. All right, let's change this to the other. So I'm going to play as fast. Fast image processing. Let's see how this feels. Oh. I forgot how to use the chainsaw. But uh, we got to kill their leader, I believe. I'm going to go rumble style. My god, guys, this feels good. It looks beautiful as well. This is an 80 image, 80 inch size. My leader is dead, no way. Oh, they're gonna come to hunt me down. We're not gonna live without a fight. Oh, come on. Oh, I am the last one. Oh, what embarrassment. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh my goodness! Oh, I'm down. It feels the same, to be honest. Both image processing in either fine or fast, they both feel the same. So, this is great, you guys. It is, it is playable. I like this. All right, guys. So finally, I tested 3D on this projector, but unfortunately, I couldn't make it work because apparently you need to buy the Epson's own 3D glasses. So in my case, I don't have those kind of glasses. I have some uh, DLP uh, 3D glasses, but let me just show you real quick what kind of settings you get because you do have a lot more settings that I've ever seen before on 3D. So over here in 3D display, have it in automatic and then format is not selectable. Over here, you also can choose the depth or how much 3D you want. This is really, really cool. I wish I had those glasses because I wanted to test all this. Then over here, you can also choose what size of screen you have. In this case, I have 80 inch. 3D brightness, you can, this is one option that I've never seen before. You can choose high brightness. Uh, normally on 3D, the brightness gets, is dropped. It's a lot darker, but the colors look really nice but in this case you also have the option to choose low medium or high that's really nice and then over here you have inverse 3d glasses so it asks you if you if you want to switch to opening and closing timing for the 3d glasses you can say yes or no i tried all the settings but with my 3d glasses it just didn't work and then over here 3d view notice and that's about it
all right guys so that's it for this video now in my conclusion in my opinion i think this is a beautiful high quality projector the image quality that this produces is insane it is beautiful it is bright it is colorful my only complaint right now will be the 3d uh, I, I just don't like the fact that i need to buy a special epson 3d glasses in order for me to enjoy this but i think it's worth it just in case if you want a 3d uh, that is bright because normally 3d gets the image gets a little dark but in this case you have the option for bright 3d uh, other than that i feel like also the controller is a big too it's a little too big for my taste you know, uh, it's cool that you have quick access to HDR and picture settings and all those things, but I just, it just feels too big. I'm not used to that. Or not. in my, in my personal taste, I don't like it. But uh, also the body of the projector, I feel that it's it's huge. It's it's really big. But I guess if you're going to uh, uh, ceiling mount this projector, it's not going to be a big deal. But other than that, guys, I mean, this projector has some really, really high quality features. The, the the lens shifting that you can have this projector in different areas and just use the shifting also the focus and the zoom they come very very handy i love those features so for the price and the quality the image quality i think this is this is worth it this is a really good projector also i want them, something i forgot to mention it is very quiet as well all right guys so that's it for this video Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm going to leave a link in the description just in case if you guys are interested in buying this projector. I'm Jolster. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out. Oh, hey guys, Jolster here. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. By the way, did you enjoy this content? If you like this kind of content and you would like to support this channel, first off, make sure you like and subscribe. And also, you, you can become a member. Just hit that join button. You get access to some of the emojis that I created. And also, you get early access to some of my videos, in the aftermath of the live stream that I do. But mostly, just want to support this channel, hit that membership program. All right, I'm working on more videos right now, so make sure you stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys. Just around.